Hello, and welcome to the next edition of our six-minute support series video and podcast. My name is Seth LeBlond, and I'm the Assistive Technology Coordinator at the Foundation for Blind Children. Each week during the school year, we'll be releasing a video in which we attempt to explain a practical concept in assistive technology in six minutes or less. So buckle up and get ready for a wild ride, because here we go. This week, we're going to be talking about a wonderful application that Microsoft has actually made for iOS devices, including iPads and iPhones, called Seeing AI, like seeing artificial intelligence. This program has several different channels, including short text, barcode scanning, document scanning, scene recognition, facial recognition, and handwriting modes. All of these allow the iOS device that we're using to be able to verbalize visual elements for us. I want to talk a little bit today about how to use the quick text and handwriting features of this powerful software. I've gone ahead and I have installed that software on this iPad and I'm going to go ahead and open it now. What you're hearing is voiceover speaking to me now. I'm going to go ahead and open the software. And when we open the software, the very first channel that we find ourselves on is the short text channel. We can look at our channels at the bottom of the screen. It says channel short text adjustable, which means that we can swipe up or down to change the channels. The first time we use each one of the channels that are available on the Seeing AI software, we have the opportunity to watch a video tutorial about how each of those channels works. And that is incredibly useful, of course, for people who are using Seeing AI software for the first time. We went ahead and we randomly found this book. I believe it's about National Parks of the West. Just it was lying around in the office, so we, we didn't try to find something that would necessarily work uh, better than anything else. We're just gonna try and see if we can read a page or two in this book using the short text mode. The cool thing about the short text mode of CEI is that we only have to point the camera at what we're trying to read in order for it to start reading. We don't have to press a take picture button or anything like that. All we have to do is get our camera lined up. I like to try to center the camera, and the camera on this iPad is on the right-hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and try to center it in this page. Then I'm going to lift it up about 10 to 12 inches above Grizzly my reading material. Game. Joseph, D. Grizzly Giant in the Mariposa Grove is the fifth. F. The Sierra Big Trees. Latest estimates place it. Underscore trees half its age. Now, as you could see, it started reading when I had my camera hovering above the text, but I then moved the camera away from the text and it continued to read. It will continue to read until it detects new text, which is great because you don't have to hold that camera up indefinitely when you're trying to read something. If I want to go ahead and switch to another channel, I can do that by swiping up on it at the bottom of the screen. The document channel enables us to scan multiple pages and save them. We can even share them by emailing them to people um, right from the iPad or the iPhone that we're using. Dismiss pop-up. Channel. Document. Product. The product mode is a barcode scanner. Barcode information often contains information on a product like how to cook it or what the serving size and nutrition values are of the product. We'll go ahead and... The faster the big bullet. When a barcode is detected, dismiss pop-up. Dismiss that. Channel. Product. Person. Person, person is our adding. face Dismiss recognition. Pop-up. Channel. Person. Ad- cur- current. Dismiss pop-up. Currency allows us to Double recognize money, paper Channel. money. Currency. 
Scene is what allows us to look at um, everything around a particular room or space. Color is a color identifier that I haven't had a lot of luck with. And the last channel is handwriting. Being able to recognize handwriting is a very unique feature of seeing AI, as most character recognition programs do not do a very good job with it. But here's a pro tip. Handwriting mode can often recognize otherwise difficult to recognize non-handwritten material, like the title on this page. The title on this page is written large and there's colors around it and all sorts of things like that that make it difficult for traditional optical character recognition to be able to recognize it properly. Handwriting mode will actually allow this title to be recognized much more clearly. Channel. Take picture button. And for handwriting mode to work, we just get ready with our take picture button. We double tap. Processing. A sunset pictorial. It actually said a sunset pictorial. Good information. I've also been successful in using handwriting mode to read very low contrast items like credit cards. That wraps up our six minute support series video and podcast for this week. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at sleblond, that's S L E B L O N D, at seeitourway.org, and I'll try to address them in a future presentation. For the Foundation for Blind Children, I'm Seth LeBlond.